Hi everyone, uh, let's talk makeup. So I am back today with a haul, and this is actually a haul of accumulated things over the course of probably two months. So I didn't just go get everything today, though I did get quite a bit today. Anyways, I wanted to show you some of the things I bought. Um, I'm going to start with some of the oldest. Um, I did get the, um, what is it, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. And I I tried it out for about a week. And, um, yeah, I don't know. If you all want a, um, a full review, let me know. But it doesn't work for oily, oily skin, basically. I think it will work um, maybe in the winter or a um, mix mixing it with um, more, full, more full coverage um, foundations, uh, mattifying foundations. So that's how I'm going to, I'm not going to return it because I did, I did like the finish of it and I liked um, kind of some of the glowiness of it. What I didn't like is that in like four hours my skin was super oily and so that's a no-go for my oily skin at least. Um, I also bought the concealer and uh, my only problem with the concealer is that it's a bit on the darker side and they only have and it's medium and they only have like three or four different shades of it um, but this one worked okay for me but I would have liked something a little bit lighter anyways otherwise the concealer works great it, it's not the best concealer ever but it's definitely not at the bottom of the list either so, after all of that, let's see, what else did I get? Oops, I got three of the Maybelline, oh, what are these called, matte lipsticks. I got All Fired Up, Clay Crush, and Blushing Pout. And I can show you some of these swatches of this. So this is Clay Crush. This is my favorite of, of the new ones. I also got All Fired Up. This one is a gorgeous, like, pink red. A pink red. I like that one a lot. And this one, Blushing Pout. This one I like less. It's like a mauve pink right there, almost with some, like, purple undertones. And that's, and I just realized the swatch of this isn't that great, but that one wasn't that's good. So here are the swatches again. Clay Crush, All Fired Up, and Blushy Pout at the bottom. So, th but th that this is one formula, by the way, for those of you who are like me and have pigmented dry lips. This is a great matte formula. So I, I do actually like matte lips. It's just they're not very comfortable to wear a lot of the times. So but these, this is a fabulous line. So that's it from Maybelline. Then um, right now, P.S. Ulta is doing a 40% uh, off NYX, um, L'Oreal, uh, Physicians Formula, and a bunch of others. And so I went in the other day, and this is one of the only things I got. It's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. So I haven't tried it yet. We'll see how it works, but I thought this would be great for just quick, easy, super fast looks, which I have been doing a lot lately. Um, then I went to Target, and oh, Target is such a, you know, go in for one thing and you get a million things. But I went to a Target I don't usually go to, and they have the Shea Moisture uh, makeup line. And so I decided to try a bunch of different things from, from the line. This was about a week ago. So I've been trying these things out for a week, and I can give you super quick mini reviews on it. So first off, they have kind of little palettes. This one is um, the smaller. They have this and they have a larger palette where you can put together shadows, face powders. Basically, you can do a whole look and put it in a little palette. And I thought this was a great idea. And I really like this, especially for like quick trips, overnight stays. I thought this would be great to just put everything in here and travel with it. So let me show you what I got. So a couple of things I got on here is the face powder. And then see they come in pants so that you can put it in the palette. And I got the powder, got it in Cat of Sand, which is a kind of medium powder. And this, this matched me really nicely actually, even though I'm, I'm looking a little bit more tan uh, right now. But this is um, what I got. And then I got a blush, and the blush I got in Anise Maroon. Anise Maroon, and it's a 
a berry. It's a berry color with some shimmer in it. And that I'll swatch real quick so you can see. Um, here is the swatch. And it is what I have on my cheeks right now, actually. So you can see what it looks like on my on my skin tone. Um, so I got that for face products. Um, I also got the um, concealer because I love concealer. I don't know, and I have really uh, dark under eye circles, especially when I'm not getting a lot of sleep, which is a little bit right now, mostly because of stress. But, um, so I wanted to try the concealers. And now, this was um, really difficult to pick out, actually. I got mine in Havasu Hazel. And it wasn't really clear to me that this was a shade that would work for me. But looking at the other ones, it was either really light or really dark. And there wasn't a whole lot in between. And so, this was one of the sort of in-between ones. So, I went ahead and got it. This is what I'm wearing right now. And you can see it's, it's very yellow. This one's very, very very yellow and so you can see that there and um, it works it works as it it does do some correcting um, but I don't know I'm, I'm still using I'm gonna continue using this and play around with it a little bit more but it's not it's not my favorite concealer I don't know I think the other one the better skin is very comparable but this one I like the color much better um, so I don't know. I keep going back and forth. We'll see. Um, so what I really don't like about this line, though, um, it was how hard it was to find a color that I thought would work for me. And last thing I got from the Shea Moisture line is one of their lip crayons. This is in the color Kaylin. Kaylin. And it's just a really nice red with a little bit of coral undertone. And this one, I hate to say it, I think I'm going to return and I might save it to do a full review of the line, but um, it's just, it's really sheer. It's really sheer. It is pigmented, um, so it's not that incredibly sheer. I guess the problem I have with it is because maybe some of the moisturizing properties in it, um, it moves, it just, it moves very easily on my lips, and so I'll put it on, I'll smack my lips, and all of a sudden, it's patchy on the lips, and I just, like, I don't like that. And it would probably work a lot better with a lip liner, but I'm not a lip liner girl. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So that, that was Target. Then I just went to um, Walgreens because they have some of the new releases that aren't at other um, drugstores yet. And I was able to find the NYX, oh, sorry, the Wet n Wild lip glosses. And this one is not even open yet, but this is in the color Saved by the Bellini. Love it. <laughs> Love the name. But it's just like a really, looks like a sheer, gloss, glossy obviously, but shimmery peach. So it probably won't come off very peachy on my lips. But uh, it looks like a really nice topper. So I went ahead and got the, oh, got it. I haven't worn it yet, and yeah, it looks like just a clear, light peach gloss. I'm not a huge gloss girl, but I really like the whole packaging of this, the very white, sleek, and yet like still substantial. I just, I really liked it, so I wanted to pick up one of these at the very least. Then, I found the Princess line, the Walgreens Elf Princess line. And so, one and all. <laughs> I'm usually not very attracted to the whole like Disney lines. I, I didn't. I don't have any of the Disney palettes that were exclusive to Sephora, and I don't get all that excited when um, Walgreens um, has these every year. But Pocahontas is my favorite Disney princess. Yeah, Pocahontas, Mulan, and Jasmine. I love. And I love painting with all the colors of the wind. So I had to get the makeup bag. It's nice and big. I think it's, it could be useful for travel. And I will be traveling soon, so I went ahead and got it. Um, then, oh, before I show you the rest of the Focanis Move On things, I got two of the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blushes. I saw some good reviews of it, of these, so I went ahead and picked up um, Flushed and vibrant. 
um, vibrant looks like a kind of neutrally pinky corally and this is definitely a coral or maybe a pinky coral but definite coral tones and yeah there we go okay let me swatch this real quick whoa vibrant i'll have to be careful with that one but i think that that, that kind of color is perfect for those of us who have tanner darker skin tones this is vibrant which is actually less vibrant than flush but also very vibrant there we go great so um we had to get most of the pocahontas things because hello favorite princess so um orly um it did the nail polishes and so i got the pocahontas set flirty oh fly like flirt colors of the wind and follow your path so blue mix and coral um, so those look like really pretty colors and I'm excited to play with them. I also got Mulan and you have uh, Princess Ping, um, Mishu, and Strength and Discipline. So I thought those look very pretty and the names are wonderful. Ha. Uh, last Mulan thing I got was one of the glosses. This is the Dare to Dream lip gloss. The packaging on this is really really beautiful I almost picked up the whole like Mulan line just because of the packaging I think the colors and obviously the colors of the movie are really beautiful this is the gloss it is in Rare Beauty and I really like like the little stamping they did on here with like the silhouette of the princess you'll see it the Pocahontas also has it and it's just I don't think this will be very pigmented no it's not all that pigmented but it's just a nice pink pink gloss and anyways it looks kind of liked the whole look of it so we went with it and then I got right I'm at Pocahontas things <laughs> this is the retractable lum luminizer in wild spirit and this I really wanted this I've seen some of the pictures on Instagram of this and it just it looks like a perfect highlighter for my skin tone and um, perfect with, I thought it would be perfect for a kind of Pocahontas inspired look, which, you know, I'm going to have to do. <laughs> but this is the um, highlighter, it really nicer, and I'll, I'll swatch it, see if that'll be visible. There's the swatch of it. And I haven't actually swatched this, but it looks... It looks nice. I don't know. We'll see. It it might, this will not be a luminizer or highlighter for um, lighter skin tones. Just putting it out there. But it could be like a nice, actually, it could serve as like a bronzer, blushy type thing. I'm not sure. I just had to have it because Pocahontas. <laughs> so sticking with the kind of bronzer theme, I picked up the Dare to Dream bronzer set in spinning arrow it's called spinning arrow oh. if you're a fan of pocahontas you know those, these are great names for these products so it is a bronzer and brush set and the brush doesn't look all that impressive it's almost like a Eda type thing but super super loose so ooh, look at this it's gorgeous and it's got the like compass <laughs> I now have my big old finger in this I'm just I'm a cluck clearly but now I've got bronzer all over me okay so this is the gorgeous bronzer and I'll swatch it it's it looks matte oh no maybe a little bit satin I think it's a satin bronzer um so let me swatch it right here oh it might be too light for me it melts right into my skin i don't think this is gonna work so that it's a little bit more visible yeah i don't think this one will work for me maybe as a just a warming up bronzer maybe i don't know but i am glad i have it just as a kind of collector's item, sort of. I got the Dare to Dream beauty book. So you open it up at first, and it has some, like, how-to here, a day look and a night look. 
and then you open it further and it has a mirror right here and on this side the the products the face products so I'll show you you get one two three nine eyeshadows a little like eye brush um, a a blush called Sun Sweet Berry and a bronzer called Voices of the Mountain a gloss called Always Be With You and looks like an eyeliner called New World Wonder how awesome so you can see here from this is Headstrong Warrior and Wing Apple so one row right there these are very very pigmented and I really really like them uh, I can't wait I think maybe the next video I'll do might be a look with these and I was really planning on doing a review of some of the other things I've bought but anyways those are the things I have been purchasing lately let me know if you've tried any of these or if you spotted the Pocahontas line or you know what those of us who love Pocahontas let's unite in our love of Pocahontas let me know if you're if you're a fan of, of hers and yeah, that is it for me today. It's been lovely chatting with you all. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.